Hi guys, Lindsay here with Starbuck Family Farm. So this week has been incredibly hard to deal with and it's only Tuesday. Um, so yesterday I had my first physical therapy appointment um, for my sternum and collarbone issue that I've been having and it did not go well. Um, the therapist was really nice, really understanding about Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome um, and you know issues with the connective tissue in my body and all that stuff. She was, she was fantastic. But basically, she was very concerned about what's going on. Um, she actually encouraged me to try to expedite seeing a, getting a second opinion from a different orthopedic doctor. Um, so she actually had me call today and I set up an appointment and turns out that appointment's going to be today because the doctor was like, let's get, get her in quick. So that's nerve wracking. Um, so after physical therapy yesterday, um, I came home and we had to take our oldest dog to the vet um, because he started having a lot of issues and at the vet it was determined that the oldest dog Vinny he has congestive heart failure so then I get him home got him all situated on some medicine to make him more comfortable to see if it offers any sort of relief from the bloat and you know just feeling very lethargic he's he's a boxer mix and he's about 13 and a half years old so I mean he's lived a good long life so I mean it's not it's not like he's really young and this is super devastating, even though it is very, very sad. Um, then after I got home from the vet and after Tracy got home from work, I had her check out one of our breeder rabbits, um, Babs. She was very much a pet to us um, because I thought that something just didn't seem right when I took care of her this uh, yesterday morning. And after Tracy was looking at her and stuff, it was determined that there was no real hope for her to rebound. Um, I think that what had happened was, was that she had a heat stroke during the last heat wave we had. Um, there's not really a way to know for sure. Um, something could have startled her really bad. Rabbits, if they get startled bad, can have heart attacks and it can kill them. Um, heat strokes can be, you know, deadly for them and stuff. But basically, she, she was unable to eat or drink anymore. Um, so yeah, yesterday, yesterday there was a lot of tears. And so far today, there's been quite a few too. It's been really, really... It's been very challenging um, the last few days and stuff. Which, you know, to some people it might not seem like a big deal as to what's going on with like my collarbone and my sternum. But I really do not do well with traditional therapies. Um, like for pain management and things of that nature. When I had to have my ankle surgery done, um, you know, almost exactly seven years ago, I could only handle, physically handle taking um, pain pills for the first couple days of it because they make me so incredibly ill, like violently ill. So the thought of potentially needing some sort of operation done or something of the sort like that, like it is terrifying to me. So yeah. That's what's been going on. Things have been very difficult lately. And it's been rough. So, I will update you guys, um, probably not today, probably tomorrow, or something of the sort, as to what's going on with the orthopedic doctor, what's going on with that. Um, the place that I'm going, they have their own like MRI machine there. It's a really fancy pants, high tech place. Um, so they have their own MRI machine there. I think their own CT scan there too, um, which is what the physical therapist suggested that I really have those sorts of scans done because then they can show the, all the soft tissue and, um, basically what, what the PT discovered yesterday when she was evaluating me and feeling everything around is that my ribs are not actually moving, um, the amount that they're supposed to when I try to breathe. And, that she's kind of under the assumption that there's massive amounts of scar tissue built up in my uh, rib cage and in my sternum area, causing it so that way everything is extremely tight. So instead of being able to breathe and everything expanding, um, basically the upper left side expands and that's kind of it. Like it's not, the ribs are not moving the correct proper way. Um, and the bottom right quadrant of my ribs is no longer moving at all whenever I breathe. So it's kind of a, kind of a concern. Um, she also was very limited on what exercises I can actually do because of being very concerned that there's a legitimately like things torn badly um, in my collarbone area where it connects to my sternum. So that's why she wanted me to see 
a different orthopedic doctor so that way I can get a scan done so that way we can see if I'm even fit enough, um, if my body is healthy enough to even go through with doing physical therapy. So that's kind of a kind of a bit of a stressful booger. Um, it's been very hard. Uh, I also am no longer allowed to lift anything heavy, so that really sucks because, you know, I enjoy working out, I enjoy exercising, I enjoy doing a lot of very manual physical labor, um, which seems kind of kind of silly seeing as how I have so many issues with my joints, but the one thing that I've discovered is that if I can keep my muscles physically fit and strong, then it takes a lot of the load and the strain off of my actual joints, which makes it so I have less pain, I feel less discomfort, and things of that nature. And to be told that I really can't do anything anymore to strengthen my chest, to strengthen my shoulders, or my upper back, that's kind of a big blow because that is something that I do to alleviate a ton of upper back pain that I have. So, yeah, I kind of feel like, uh, kind of feel a little screwed, to be quite frank, so... That's it for today. Thanks for watching, guys.